And if I were to say where I thought I was going to get my healing, it would have been from the church. But my healing really came from, from the woman who graciously told me that her life had been changed because of me, but that now she felt guilty that so many things had happened to me. And I told her, you just, you don't see my support. You don't see the employees, you don't see the doctors, you don't see the board of directors and the Catholic Healthcare West who have supported me through this interesting time. <laughs> Not that I wish it on anybody else, but... But I also reminded her that in some wonderful and beautiful way, when you go through difficulties and challenges, there is a tremendous amount of grace that comes to you that I never would have experienced. I never would have realized um, had it not been for this experience. And in that strange sort of way, it connected me even more to the church and even more to the suffering church. And so I think for each of us, as we move forward in this very um, disappointing time in our church, I think it's the time when we need to be the example of mercy and forgiveness and love. It is only by our example that the church will change. For us to expect that the hierarchy of the church is going to magically change, I just don't think it's going to happen. But we are the example. We are called to be that wonderful example to the church. And if each of us went home and just affected two or three people, imagine how that ripple effect would occur in our church. And I think in the midst of all of this, that is what we're called to do today, is be a merciful and forgiving church. Because that's the piece that seems to be missing right now. And that's, I think, our call to action, is to be merciful, forgiving, and loving in this very interesting time. And I, and I challenge each of us to go home and maybe mend a relationship that you've thought about, maybe mend a relationship that has been very unsteady and uncomfortable. Talk to a person that you haven't been in touch with. Extend love to a child who's caused you a lot of heartache. I think our challenge today is to be that merciful and forgiving church.